Welcome to WWA Amplified, looking back at three classic WWA matches. Up first, we go to Independence Day 2015 as Mickey Midas, then known as Mickey Muscles, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Canadian giant, Seth LaDuke. Apparently he can touch his flag. I think LaDuke might have picked the wrong day to wave that flag around on a hockey stick. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to witness the soon-to-be passing of one Mickey Muscles. Well, now, when you, when you talk about strengths and weaknesses, both of these men, I, I think, have strengths where the other has weakness. I would agree. But the strength of Seth LaDuke, right? I mean, like... Right. Seth LaDuke has strength. I, I don't want, look, I don't want to take anything away from Mickey Muscles. We've both been very impressed with him. He is an incredible talent. But it's Seth LaDuke. I mean, what's his weakness? Speed. He can't resist a cupcake? <laughs> and Mickey Muscles can? Okay. Mickey Muscles, though, demonstrating that speed advantage he's got, trying to knock the big man off his feet. Oh! Seth LaDuke with a giant clothesline out of the turnbuckle there. What the horror of that! Mickey Muscles was not expecting that at all. Thought he had some momentum going, and then all of a sudden, that turned inside out. Oh, no. Oh! Well, that turnbuckle just looked like it was about to give way, didn't it? Oh, big, big sidewalk slam from Seth LaDuke. Fans trying to rally behind Mickey Muscle, though. Trying to get him pumped up here. They should be chanting, you should run. You should run. These colors don't run, Lyle. And that is a big vertical suplex. I mean, yes. Near fall. And Mickey Muscles has a tremendous amount of heart, an amazing amount of athleticism, and we've seen him do some spectacular things in the squared circle. But, all right. That quickness starting to pay off now. Can he capitalize? Oh, no. He tried. Caught and, oh. Splattered on the ground. Oh, now he's just toying with him. Oh. oh! Just stepped on him. That probably cracked half of his ribs just in that one move. I mean, that could that could very easily do some serious damage to the sternum, no doubt about it. Seth Leduc, big choke slam. Oh, this has got to be over right here. Mickey Muscles just convulsing in the center of the ring, and how much more damage can he take? And quickly getting out of the way, what surely would have been the final blow. Hey, Muscles wisely going to run. No. Oh, going up top. Muscles looking for a big move, and down he goes. Oh, yeah, takes down the big man. Sometimes it's about leverage. He's going to try it again. Not this time, though. Ooh. One, two, three. So 
So Seth LaDuc victorious once again. His streak continues. He just seems unstoppable, doesn't he, Lyle? He absolutely does. I'm just... I, <clears throat> there's nobody on the roster that could stop him. He doesn't need to join anybody. He's a one-man team all to himself. I'm the future of the W. Okay. I, I believe it. You're watching WWA Amplified. Hope you're enjoying some classic matches from WWA's past. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any WWA action. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WWA is now. Event info, news, and more can be found on our Facebook page, World Wrestling Alliance. Alexander Knight was scheduled to face Buff Bagwell tonight. But if you happen to hear Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast this week, his guest Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell realized he had better places to be. Buff Bagwell injured his shoulder Tuesday. A hospital is a better place Not to be. Not medically cleared to wrestle. Doctor's office is a better place to be. Let's go to ringside and hear what Alexander Knight has to say. Okay. If you're not real sure exactly who I am, I'm Alexander Knight, the Cavalier, a profiteer, the best wrestler you'll see tonight. And I know everybody here was looking forward to seeing me beat Buff Bagwell. I think you really called in because he's afraid of me. The Cavalier, a profiteer, the best wrestler Buff Bagwell would have ever seen. You know, it's actually a shame because after I would have beat Bag Bagwell, I would have used him like a stepping stool all the way up for a title. Any title of my choosing, number one contendership. You see, Portland, yeah, dog you bring whoever reps. you want. I'll step over top of them right to a WWA championship. Yeah, I know everybody keep clapping for Cortland. Yeah, go ahead, because Cortland's a loser just like you. And I also heard that he's bringing in Mickey Muscles. Oh yeah, let's hear it from Mickey Muscles. Mickey Muscles, a talented young upstart. High flyer of the yeah, Mickey Muscles, greatest caliber. I'll step across Mickey Muscles and get closer and closer to a championship. Kind of a baby step though. Hey, Mickey don't Muscle want me, boy. <laughs> I'm talking set out, shut up. Whoa, 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 Incredible whoa, whoa. Incredible talent, whoa. but whoa. small guy. I think these people have heard enough of you. It's Cortland Moore. Oh yeah, come on, let's hear it for Cortland, the biggest loser in the building. You know, because of you, I've burned a lot of bridges that I've walked on, and I don't feel anything. That's not a good thing to me. I've let down family because of you, and I'm not about to let these people down. I will line people up, and I will make sure that your greed and your arrogance will fall. Hey, wait, 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 you've let down family? I tell you what, I really want you to be at my funeral because you're used to letting people down. You can make all the stupid jokes you want. And yeah, right, I'll be there at your funeral to piss on your grave. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I didn't come alone tonight because I brought somebody with me to replace Buff Bagwell. His name is Steve Shorty Seegers.
Team Shorty Seegers. Well, he certainly lives up to the name. Where's the rest of him? Wouldn't it be more like save a pony? Just say it. Well, this will be cute. After Cortland gets done pinning all the Muppet babies up against Alexander Knight, we can get to some real matches. I think Steve Seeger is going to have his work cut out for him, but the real question is, can he, can he measure up to someone like Alexander Knight? There's no way Alexander McKnight is going to make short work out of this guy. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at WWA is now. You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WWA is now. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to us on YouTube. WWA is now. Swing and a miss. Boy, he can barely reach, but those are some solid right hands connecting with the face of Alexander Knight. Steve Seeger means business. Seeger's got a tall order ahead of him if he wants to beat the former champion, Alexander Knight. think that Alexander Knight couldn't have uh, trained for this. Certainly not. Could What's he going to do? Go into the playground and start kicking Pete, kicking kids in the butt? <laughs> well, I, I, I guess what I'm getting at is 
Steve Seeger is, is about as opposite as you can get from Marcus Buff Bagwell. Right, he's here. Well, in that regard as well. Portland Moore, he's built quite a quite a stable of clientele since leaving Knight Enterprises. I mean, we've seen him with. Portland Moore should be charged with anti-child labor laws. Shorty's a grown man. I wouldn't go that far. Portland Moore has. Amazing talent on a short list. What is this? Well, I think what we're seeing right now is Alexander Knight's getting owned by someone half his size. You want to be blunt about it. Oh. This isn't fair. Alexander Knight was expecting a man his size. This guy, that was touch of growth. Alexander Knight in control of this one. Seeger close enough to, to get that bottom rope. Alexander Knight. Battling here against the curious case of Benjamin Button. Alexander Knight thought he had him there. That's not possible. Pound for pound, Steve Shorty Seeger is absolutely one of the most talented men to ever lace up his boots. Because the only way is a pound. You know, size, size isn't everything. Because if that was the case, then Alexander Knight would have already won this thing, don't you think? You've not seen the new Godzilla movie. Size does matter. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it. Right now, Alexander Knight destroying Seeger like Godzilla destroys Tokyo. And now Knight Enterprises, Hawkins and Jackson getting involved on the outside. It's Jackson and Hawkins. Nobody home. What? How can he be that quick? Nobody that size should be that quick or that strong.
Seeger is on fire. Series of clotheslines. Still not enough to put, uh, put away Alexander Knight. So Seeger now going up. Are we gonna see a high risk maneuver here? Seeger up on the third rope. Backflip, but nobody's home. Alexander Knight now goes for the cover, two. Just a two count. I don't know where Cortland Moore found this. This freak of nature. Somehow he went back to his old toy collection, found some muscle men from the 80s, and made one come alive. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> but obviously, this thing isn't human. Fortunately, Alexander Knight has figured that out. He's about to win this. Seeger able to dodge those clotheslines as they went clear over his head, but not able to dodge that knee. It was a little more on his level. Alexander Knight now has Shorty in the corner. The Cavalier Profiteer in the driver's seat. Gets a running start with a cross body to his downed opponent in the turnbuckle. Shorty looks like he is clinging barely to consciousness right now. It might be time to throw in the towel here. That's right. Seager should stick to seeing night moves and against the wind. Uh, I think he got it mixed up with a different Seager. I mean, there's two of those little. Alexander Knight wishing he could turn the page. Dazed and confused. Steve Seeger whips Knight to the corner. I would call that a big boot, but it was just, just kind of a regular boot. lacks the required height to be called a big boot. You could certainly call it effective. Oh, and Alexander Knight choking his opponent out. Really, a chair? He's gonna help him out. Give him something to stand on so the same height. This is, this is what it's come to here. There you go. See? <laughs> Wait, no Are way. we gonna see a choke no slam? Way. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like the looks of this. Alexander Knight wedging that chair in the turnbuckles. Sits ominously in the corner. And a reversal. Back body drop sends Alexander Knight to the mat. Shorty in control for the time being. Calling for that choke slam again. See if he can pull no it off way. this time. No way! What? <laughs> well, if you'd have told me that 
Shorty Seeger would be doing a choke slam to Alexander Knight this evening. I'd have told you you were crazy until I just saw it with my own two eyes. Drake Jackson with the save. That should have been a three count. Look, he could have counted to 15. This is ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous. There's no way Tim Ruff can count to 15. Oh, come on. One, two, and three. That is probably the dirtiest pin I've ever seen. He was physically in the ropes. That's ridiculous. Alexander. That is not the dirtiest pin you've ever seen. You've seen much dirtier pins than that. I don't know. That was pretty bad. But you've seen dirty. He had his feet on the second rope like he needed that much leverage. Perfectly legal. Steve Seeger gets the short end of the stick here against Knight Enterprises who leave with the upper hand tonight. But I guarantee you this war is not over between Cortland Moore and his former boss, the Cavalier Profiteer, Alexander Knight. The second rope is the American one. Only the top, the top one and the bottom one are falling. Oh, please. The following announcement has been paid for by the Royal Three. Army of Three, I'm on it, you're on it, you're not on it. I'm not on it! But you know who is on it? I'm on it, you're on it. Tell them who else is on it. 747. Oh! No one cares. Alexander Knight, no one cares. But he's on it, and I'm on it. Hysteria Through the Curtain, Volume 2. Two, two, two. It has the three. Three. On the two. Three, two. So tell them why they should buy it. Tell them why they should get it. Listen, listen here, cool cat. You can listen to all the jams, doing whatever you're doing, cooking in the kitchen, whether you're pounding one out at the gym or anywhere you like. So boys and girls, if you want to be cool like the prince, the king, and the duke, pick up yourself a version of Hysteria Through the Curtain, volume two. So hey, monkey boy, tell them where to get it. WWE Through the Curtain. Find it now on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you find your music. Just search World Wrestling Alliance. As the war in Kentucky's biggest battle royal was coming up in 2015, Ray Waddell and Jordan Whitaker faced off one-on-one. -on -one. Tensions were running high throughout the locker room. A drop kick sends Ray Waddell. Ray Waddell sends Whitaker <laughs> to the concrete. It means business tonight. And oh! suicide dive right off the bat in this one. Su Ray Waddell. The suicide dive by a true heavyweight is no joke. And oh! <laughs> One good suicide dive deserves another. These fans are on their feet. Jordan Roadkill Whitaker in pursuit. Drop kick. Nice standing drop kick by the champion. Ray Waddell. 
Had an initial shot, but unable to mount much offense after that. Tries to go for the fireman carry there, though, but Ray Waddell escapes. Cross body reversed into a slam. Roadkill tries to pick up the pin, but it's not enough. Ray Waddell now in the turnbuckle. Getting his face punched off by the champ. Oh, Ray Waddell looks like he's out like a light here. The power of the champion, Roadkill Lineker, hoists him up and into a German suplex. Nice execution from Jordan Whitaker. Still not enough for the three count. It's our honor to be joined once again. How's it going? At the announce table by Lucas Tyler, yeah. one half of THC. Yeah, too bad my partner couldn't be here tonight. Power move by the champion. Hey, they had a really hot start to this match, man. They both did dive, and it was actually pretty awesome. Up and over. Ooh. Oh, the agility of both of these guys. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Ooh, I know that hurt. That does not feel good. Oh, that had to hurt bad. I've taken plenty of those, and it does not feel good at all. That. That's going to change the momentum of this one. Ooh. Superstar Ray Waddell does what it takes to win. And that's why he deserves to be WWE champion, just because he's the best in the business. I mean, I have to give it to him. I don't really like the guy, but he's, he's very talented. I and mean, he knows the ring inside and out. He can do anything. Brian Classic oh. up to six. Oh, God. man. What a oh. brutal kick God. to the jaw. Oh, man. Oh. I think I felt lunch come Ooh, up on that one. My jaw's hurt from seeing that. Ow. God. Just a couple of disgusting <laughs> punishing moves oh by goodness. the superstar to the champion. <laughs> wow. His lights is out, man. Can you even came and turn, turn him out? It's a wrap. This could go to a count out. We're at eight. It's over. Nine. Nine and oh, oh just Chelsea. barely makes it back barely. in. Barely. Wow. Wow. So surprised he can get up after that. Jordan Roadkill Whitaker reaching deep to find the strength to get back in the ring before that 10 count was fully administered. Donnie Classic at nine and a half. Oh, nine and nine tenths. I thought he had that. And Ray Waddell did too as he was looking oh, for an easy God. night, an easy payday. How many people you know get kicked in the face and get up? <laughs> well, he's not up yet. <laughs> oh, true, true that. I, touche. None <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know anybody's taking a kick like that. Oh, God, wow. He's took full control of this match now. Wow. Jordan Whitaker slammed his spine into the concrete. And then took a wicked oh. hit to the face. And, oh, 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 nice move there. That's at least 2,000 <laughs> pounds. Ray weighs at least two tons. I mean, he oh. is he is packing quite a <laughs> quite a lot. Oh. Looks like looks like he may be going for a STF here. Just a, a classic move. He's just, he's just so disrespectful in the ring. But, but he's, he's so well versed, too. Yes. We see him here yes. using a move that's been around almost as long as the sport itself. Yes. And executing it perfectly. However, Ray Waddell may be making a 
a mistake that's been around since the sport has been around as well. Thinking that his opponent has taken so much damage that he can now go into cruise control. You can't underestimate Joe Brooke here, Willie. No, never. And that's the reason why he's WWE champion right now. Well, you know, Chris, the masterpiece, Masters totally underestimated him. You know, I, I yes. think that was that was where he really messed up. Yes. Well, Masterpiece, ooh, wow. 850 pounds is just, oh, my God, wow. Ray, Ray Waddell has uh, had a lot more time in the ring with, with Whitaker here, though, and I, I feel like he, he's probably not going to be in one of those positions where he's going to underestimate him. No. I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be a problem tonight. He's certainly enjoying the position he's in. I mean, I think, I think when, when you think back to the, the way the match started and he got a jump on him before the bell, he, he was not underestimating him at all oh, doing no. that. that he, no. he knew what he was getting into tonight. These two know each other really, really well. Really well. So Ray did the smart thing. He caught him off guard, and it's been kind of one-sided since. I think what really did it was the kick to the face. I mean, that's just... That'll take the steam out of anybody. Oh. <laughs> Going up top, are we going to see a superplex? Oh, no. Whitaker fighting back. Whitaker now. Oh, this drop oh, kick oh, off the top beautiful. rope. That's incredible. Now, Lucas, THC has faced both of these men in the past, correct? Yes. Which do you and Kenny, which would you rather go against? The, the power and the, the technical skill of Ray Waddell or the speed and uh, sheer um, longevity of the champion, Jordan Whitaker? I say Ray Waddell and the Waddell show. They, You'd rather battle them? Yes. Just for a simple fact, we're speedy. And he's speedy. I mean, we end up clotting, and he could probably get us on something. But with the Wild Out Show, they're kind of predictable. Like, a little slower, a little slower pace as we're fast. We know that most times speed takes out power. But if power was to catch speed, then it'd be over. Interesting. Certainly we're seeing that the case right now is Whitaker. Get on the rope. Unable to pin the big man with Ray Waddell getting that foot on the rope. Wild show, they are no joke. You guys, man, they beat the hell out of Kenny. Man. How is Kenny alive, by the way? I'm he takes more punishment than any human I'm I've ever no. seen. Wow, <laughs> that guy is so durable. That's why he's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's proof that the zombie apocalypse is upon us. <laughs> that guy can get shot and kick out a team. I believe he can. <laughs> Roadkill Whitaker in a very bad spot right now. Future of his children in jeopardy right now at the top of this rope. Oh, wow. Ray Waddell pauses and talks some smack and pays the price oh, for it. Man, you don't talk trash to Jordan, man. He's going to capitalize on whatever he can. We're going to see from Jordan. Oh, okay. He's back up. What are we about to see here? He's a German? Ah, uh, no. He's not going to do a German super, super German super? No! Oh! Oh, oh my. Ooh, that's got to be it right there. That has got to be that, it. That, that does. But can Ray Waddell capitalize? Come on, man. You got this. It's, this is a wrap. What a maneuver. Ray first to his feet. Oh. Oh, he's signaling for that elbow. That's knocked plenty of people out. I've got hit with it several times. Big power elbow. I'll get nightmares to see him that day. The champions could be it. Ooh, Spinning nice elbow misses. No. Ooh. And reversal. Oh, no, no, no. What's this is bad. Oh, no. Picked that one up off his brother earlier tonight. Okay. We're going to see here. 
Fireman carry. Oh! Ooh, One, two, and... Shades of Sammy Zane there. You, you got to love two evenly matched guys like this that can just do reversal after reversal on one another. Who studied the tapes. Who studied each other in the ring in person. Oh, yeah. Can Ray Waddell be champion? Well, it certainly looks like it right now, doesn't it? Yeah. Just pin him. I guess he wants to continue with the assault. Okay, he's going to go for something high risk here. Will it pay off? Oh, yeah, moonsault. No. Oh, my God. It's over. It is over. That's got to be it. That's moonsault it. off the top rope. Yeah. One, two, two, and what? A kick out. Wow. At the very last second. That's like 250,000 pounds just laying on top of me. Wow. I don't know. I'm about to put That's Kenny and Jordan in the same league with their ability. Wow. Oh! Uh, another sh just incredible punch. I have to give this to Ray Waddell. He is one of the best southpaws in this business, next to William Regal. Mm. Demonstrating it right there. Oh, I mean, you, you could hear the impact through the building on that one. Ray Waddell looking to put the finishing move on the champion. Whitaker trying to come back. Can he do it? Oh, yeah. my God. How what? is this possible? Power bomb. How is that possible? <laughs> Jordan Roadkill Whitaker with a sit-down powerbomb. Only good oh. for a two-count. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Incredible. These fans here in Central City. Wow. They're behind Jordan. Really, whoever didn't make it to this event is missing yes. out. Yes. They certainly are. All right, Jordan, looks like he's about to get the advantage. I'm so glad I was here for this event this evening. No doubt. He's looking at a frog splash here. I might steal a lot from Booker T over here. Suck your ducky, quack, quack. <laughs> Up high, oh, frog splash. Frog splash. One, two, two three. three. Oh! I thought wow. he had it there. I thought he had that it. That is just. Fans are standing up there on their feet right now. This is a great match. Wow. I cannot believe he survived that. Incredible. Man. What's it going to take to put one of these guys away? Like I said, you probably have to shoot one of these guys. <laughs> oh. oh. Top of his head. I really think Lucas. I, I think that, that your teammate is like an early version of the Terminator, like <laughs> like a like a T16 or something like that. Yeah. I had a match with him once before, and he he beat me. And I'm like, wait, I had the heart to kick his head off. I didn't want to end his career there, but he got he got he got one over on me, and I was just like, All right, I have to respect him for that. Lucas Tyler, one half of THC, joining us here at the announce table. And oh wow! Oh, springboard clothesline, beautifully executed, incredible. As roadkill, Jordan getting fired up, showing why he's the champ. Getting pumped up here. Oh, big nice spear! Woo! Let's see if that's one, enough to do it. Two. And, oh, oh, three and seven eights right there. You have a slow count by Donnie <laughs> Classic. Very slow. Seems kind of paid off. Donnie Classic's had a few interesting moments this evening. <laughs> yeah, it certainly has. Another spring work close we're looking at here. Oh, oh, oh he caught him with a spear of his own. Ray That's Waddell it. catches two. it, two. Oh. oh, so close. Oh, my God. Jordan Roadkill Whitaker went to the oh well one too many times with that God. springboard clothesline. 
did not pay any dividends as Ray Waddell was able to capitalize but not able to put away the champs. Wow. Great matchup so far, very good matchup. The fans chanting this is awesome. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Go back up top. Can we see a superplex here? Roadkill fighting his way out of it. Whoa! Oh, that's oh, over. It's over. Oh, it is over. That, right that is elbow. it. It's over. That is it. One, New champion. Two, two, and what? Kick out. Wow. And classic. Oh, oh, Rebe taking a, a boot to the to the eye there. He, each of these pinfalls is getting closer and closer to three, wow. just by a fraction of a second every time. That rolled elbow should be dead. We've seen him finish so many opponents with that oh, elbow. Man. I can't name anybody who hasn't done a seat in that above besides Ray <laughs> Well, we saw it knock uh, Logan Abel out cold. Straight. Just right. completely out cold. Been many a great wrestler fall to that move. Doesn't feel too good. One, two. Ooh. Ooh. Them damn roll-ups, man. They, they get more people than actual finishers do. Oh, man. knockout punch in that. That's got to be it there. Whitaker Whitaker looks, looks like he's out one. cold. Is he looking at another rolling elbow here? Just, wow. I think he'd be wise to go for a pinfall here because yeah. Whitaker looks like he's not even breathing he's right now. Time. He should just pin him. New WWE champion right there. This one, what is this? Oh, he calls this move. Oh, he didn't get it. Wow. Oh, oh. Nice dodge by the large man, but he's a poop to the face. Spinning heel kick. Oh, no. What's this reverse her karate? Oh, oh. oh. top of his head. Oh, my Ryan God. Ryan Ray Waddell's skull. And here comes CCW. Oh, this guy. Of course. He got to help little big brother. One. Two and oh. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Little big brother. <laughs> Springboard drop kick. He's gone again. And the champion now trying to keep both the Waddells at bay. Good luck. Ooh. Could have easily broke his neck there. Easily. Uh, those ropes don't have a whole lot of give to them. And it, it, you catch your neck or your shoulder oh, on them, yeah. it's it's torture. Even if you hit them on, you can just paralyze yourself. <laughs> what are we about to see here? Uh, is this the C4 that we're about to see here? Both men up on the top rope. High risk maneuver. Ooh. Ooh. Like a side Canadian destroyer. Ooh. And, and oh, oh, come on. CCW. Of course, of course this guy stops the win by putting the boots to the referee. And wait, what's going on? It's Dakota, Dakota France. France. Dakota France has had enough. Please, somebody do something. <laughs> oh, super kick. And here comes Gosh, Gahaji Khan. Oh. And complete pandemonium has broken out here in Central City. Donnie Classic is outside the ring. Teddy King. Oh, man, everybody's just throwing shots out here. Absolute chaos. What is this, Alexander Knight? Uh, and Jordan Roke here with his still champion. Everybody's just out here just brawling. The match has been called. What, we got Nick Willis out here? Nick Willis? What? What the? What's his beef out here? Are you serious? 
I don't know. I'm thinking about joining the mix. I don't know. Vinny yeah, Bray Vinny now. Bray. <laughs> <laughs> Throws his cape in the ring. <laughs> Vinny Bray and his cape are now fighting. Well, you know, some people would throw their hat in the ring, but Vinny Bray. Avispo. Avispo. One of the Avispos. We don't know which one. I think that's maybe That's the, the real one, one if that's he's going after one. Ray Waddell. Yeah. And look at Brett Taylor. Wow, it's just pure chaos. Mad out Max! Here. What's the, this guy out here? The locker room is emptying wow. out as Travis Ball hits the ring. What? Where are these people coming from? There is the locker room. Oh. Let's <laughs> shoot the thrill. I'm, what? Swag team. Wow, they're just pouring out like roaches, huh? Well, that's just about everyone on the roster. Yeah, Here come the misfits. Oh, these guys. And church is now in session. They've got the they've got no friends in there though. There is nobody to 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 stop this. Logan Abel. The entire roster. And Lucas Tyler's just run off. He just put his headset down. I think he's getting in the action too. <laughs> Lucas Tyler will be the only member not and it is Lucas Tyler of THC who has been sitting with us on commentary <laughs> he's in there now uh, hey maybe we should jump in there too why, why not, not? <laughs> Vinny Bray is left I think his cape is still in there, though. <laughs> this has become a legitimate over-the-top rumble. As WWA athletes go flying. Look at this, we're back where we started, aren't we? Unbelievable! Let's ring the bell and get a fresh start here. Drop chest kick. And over the top goes Ray Waddell. And then there was one. There he is, your champion. Jordan Roadkill Whitaker. It takes a champion to bring order to the chaos. And Roadkill Whitaker reigns supreme here in Central City. All right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a piece of the action, so I had to go out there and get a piece. Uh, I don't blame you. We were thinking about jumping in there for a minute, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs>